Look who it is! <laughs> I'm only bloody doing a vlog, aren't I? Um, I don't vlog much these days because I just don't know if you guys want to watch it. Like, when I'm not really doing much, just pouring about on a weekend. But today, we're going to Barcelona! Yeah! And it's really sunny and warm here in England at the moment too, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, we're off to Barcelona for a few days. It's our wedding anniversary, four years married. Four years, one, well, four years he's put up with me as his wife, but been together for nearly 10 years. You about done? Yeah. Ross is his normal talkative self as usual. Well, it's warm in here. So yeah, we're off to Gatwick now. And I'm very impressed with my packing skills. We've only got hand luggage and done pretty well whether I'll be able to get it all back in on the way home I don't know I've got like eight outfits in there and I'll show you my outfit later as well because I'm really pleased with this ridiculously comfy jumpsuit that I got from ASOS for the plane today um, yeah that was a good start isn't it we've literally just got onto the main road so at least it happened now but I've just remembered that I've forgotten something I've forgotten my um, my little I don't know what you would call it. Um, I don't like to use the word OCD because I don't feel like it's the right word, but very detailed guide that... It is the right word. <laughs> very OCD guide that I do for every trip we do. And literally, like, that's got all of our confirmation numbers in it and everything, so we need to go back and get it. But at least we're only, like, 10 minutes from home, so... Take two. Searching all day long, try to be the perfect one You're holding me without no touch You don't need chains to hold me back Light it up, I can't speak your mind My world's slipping under, give me nothing back But it's love, I can't tell you how I'm caught up in your thoughts tonight See, I've been building walls, you break them Reunited with the camera. You don't even want to know where you've been on the camera. I left you on the aeroplane. Oh my goodness. You've been on your own adventure. I left you on the bloody plane, didn't I? Oh my god, this has not been a good start to our holiday. I as soon as we left the airport I realised I'd left this camera on the plane. And to be fair, whilst it's been a lot of running around this morning, it's actually been a lot more straightforward than I thought. I thought that, that was it, I thought I'd never see this camera again. Um, so yeah, they managed to find it really quickly. So we've been back to the airport this morning and picked it up. Um, but yeah, the, the holiday did not start well because I left the camera on the plane and then we rushed out to see the magic fountains as soon as we got into our hotel. And I fell over in the rain. I slipped flat on my bum, didn't I? In a really, really public place. Like, I just got to the top of an escalator full of people and I went straight on my bum. How much did you find that funny? That was hilarious. So, this morning we're supposed to be chilled, get some breakfast, make our way to Camp Nou for the thing that we're doing there, and instead we had to get up early and rush around and get to the airport, and we've now got 10 minutes to make like a half an hour journey to get to Camp Nou. Oh, That's what it says on there. So we're going to be late to Camp Nou. Bloody better. Oh, literally, I've been so stressed. I'm only relaxed when I get in that bloody football stadium. And there's a sentence I literally thought I would never say. really high up so basically you can get an English um, audio tour for the stadium at the start and Ross was like I was like I'm not gonna get it but Ross can get it and just tell me stuff and he's like no, no no it's fine this is my own little audio tour so I can those seats up there I've got seatbelts I suppose you go be free if you find someone leave me be I just be rushing around this morning. 
morning. It was so stressful. Like Ross couldn't even keep up with me at some points. <laughs> and I'm the one with the little legs that has to run to keep up with him normally. Um, but yeah, we just finished at Camp New. Did you enjoy it? I did, I loved it. It was amazing. <laughs> And now I think we're just going to have a wander back to our apartment. Um, the weather's lovely. It's really, really warm. See, Ross was like, you're going to need a jacket. No, no, no. No jackets. We've just come back to the room for a little refresh. I'm not going to get you in it. This lazy bum won't move and it's time to go back out. And he's not even properly dressed yet, so I can't film that bit. But I thought I'd film a little bit of the rest of the room without him in it to show you our lovely room here so we're staying at a place called destination bcn and i would definitely recommend it like especially if you're into interiors and yeah just like things that look nice and like that kind of apartment feel rather than a hotel so there's lots of apartments here like big apartments that look amazing um if you were coming in like a group because they're expensive not expensive if there was enough of you to stay in the whole apartment um, but then they also have rooms. So this is just a self-contained room. It's got everything that a hotel room would have, but I guess it's just a bit more informal in terms of, there's not like a reception downstairs or any of those kind of things, but the room's cleaned once a day as well, same as a hotel. And I really like it. So let me see what I can show you. Okay, there's a husband right here. It's all right, you can stay there. It's all right. Okay, all right, he's moved. Um, so yes, this is the bed. It's a bit of a mess. We need to tidy up a bit because I want to take some photos for my blog. Um, a little hanging space here. And then this is probably like the one of the best bits of the room really. So this is, the, we're staying in room two and room two is the only one that has this kind of like little balcony kind of area. I say balcony because it's all enclosed, but so lovely. And it's such high ceilings as well um yeah i just really like all of the little touches in here so we've got a couple of seats in this area how good is the light i need to try and take some more photos ross has just taken some of me set out here um but yeah and this is our view i don't know what this road is it's like kind of like in the university area um so yeah it's quite a busy noisy road to be honest but it's fine and then there's me and then in the room itself is the like sink and whatever area why is there something playing on your phone ross oh i forgot to turn it off um yeah so there's like the sink area there's a telly here which has got uh, apple tv but we haven't switched that on yet and oh i just realized they took our rubbish out of the bathroom and then this is the bathroom so literally like this glass a slidey door oh you fuck happy anniversary oh. <laughs> oh, i didn't know i was gonna give you a little present on the morning of our anniversary because oh. it's free you know what i was about to say oh. how the hell have you got these and not given me any because it was a Right on the top. They were right at the bottom. No, right, it was like that. There's no way I could not see it. No. I'm sorry. So Can I have no. we're here for our four-year wedding anniversary, which traditionally is is in that but that's a bag of liquids right there. You just need to look. It doesn't look, never looks. You just kind of Oh no, he does look. He just doesn't search. Anyway, so Sorry. we're here for our four year anniversary, which traditionally the gift is fruit or flowers and or linen apparently. Linen and I just because we're here I haven't got like a proper present with me, I have got a proper present though, and it's amazing. Um oh, fuck. I think it's amazing, you might not. Yeah, but I wouldn't say it was like I just think it's cool. Anyway, um I just thought I'd bring Ross a little present. And I bought him his favourite Haribo, which are straws because that's fruit. And um, he just found it. And today is only the 15th, and it's our anniversary on the 18th. It not last until the 18th. Anyway, I've shown you the bathroom. <laughs> so, 
yes, this just like a sliding glass door, which is right in front of the bed, and shower, really nice shower actually. Did you enjoy the shower? Yeah, really good. Yeah, and do you like the shower gel? Yeah, the yeah, one. yeah, yeah. So we it ha in the toilets is or well, the bathroom is Malin and Goats um, toiletries, and I haven't washed my hair, but I've used this this morning, the rum body wash, and it's really nice. It's made me want to get some for at home actually, and it will remind us of holiday. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Mm. Um, so yeah, it's all kind of open, and then toilet. Yeah. So I guess the one thing I would say is you need to be comfortable with the person that you're staying with. So. It's ideal for couples or friends that don't mind kind of showering behind a frosted <laughs> glass door in front of them or going to the toilet. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I think that's it. I'll show you kind of like the entrance way as well because it's very Instagram. I need to get me some Instagrams out there. For anyone wondering about this bag from Topshop, because a lot of people on Instagram have been loving this and you can fit a lot in here. So this morning I actually had this SJ cam, which is like a GoPro, and this, oh where's the tripod gone? Um, well, and this tripod here in the bag, and two phones, this massive like power pack, sorry you can't see, I've got one of those like chargeable power pack things in there, my phone goes, and I have a lens, lip balm, money keys everything it's pretty good and also i like it because it when i've got it on it sits like right here so i feel safe when it's like i don't know pickpocketers or something like that light it up i can't speak your mind my world's slipping on it giving nothing back what is love i can't tell you so this is the uh my entrance to our apartment, and this is the lift. How cool is this? Oh, it's really high. Oh, every time I go, brings back your love. Just having a little wander around some little side streets, which is just really quiet at the moment because it's a Sunday afternoon. Just, you know, taking a few photos. Having a little mooch. Ross feels like he gets dripped on, but that's weird because like this blue skies. A bird just pooed inside his shoe. <laughs> and just like the kind and loving wife I am, I let him wipe it off with my skirt. The inside. The inside of and my it is skirt. A nice skirt. Yes, this is my outfit. You can't see that. <laughs> ice cream place oh my god this is so good i've got caramel and vanilla and ross has got a strawberry sorbet i feel like i just can't relax now for this holiday i'm just gonna keep thinking i've lost something guys there are literally just so many dogs in barcelona if you like to look at a dog or two come to barcelona and you'll be very happy and it just makes me think of little bear cub earlier on when i was getting like really stressed about whether we were going to get to camp Nou or not we came out of the metro and there was a little chalky labrador at the top waiting for me and i was i was going hello hello and oh my god he was so excited to see me wasn't he he definitely wanted to come and see me but he wasn't allowed Guys, act cool. There is a chocolate Labrador. Act cool. He had little grey hairs on his chin. <laughs> it is busy here. I think this is the park. Citadella? I don't know how to say these Spanish words. Officially done. With using the public transport, oh my god. I don't know how we managed that, but we just nearly missed our slot to come into Park Guell. I don't know if I even said that's where we're going. Oh my god, it was like, you could not have fit another person in that bus, it was ridiculous. Um, yeah, Ross isn't very happy with me. He's just rushing us here to get us here on time. But... Stressing out. Well, yeah, but I don't want to miss it, we paid for it. Anyway, we're here now, so we need to enjoy it. <laughs> So I seem to have 
up to a really fun um, fear of heights. Oh god, you're really holding on to me. Yep. <laughs> It's not a good time Bridge to ask is wobbling. Other no, uh, unless you figure it out yourself. It is wobbling. Yep, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm. I literally. I. Yep. Yeah, I'm not even joking. Let's walk off then. No, I want to get photos. I'm gonna come. Oh my god, seriously, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've never been like that scared of heights. I'm not. I'm, I don't know what what's wrong with me. Literally, I standing on this bridge and my legs are just going to jelly. And I can't control it. Like, I know I'm fine. I absolutely know I'm fine. I, I did it earlier in the Camp Nou. We were going up these, la these stairs. I knew I was fine. And tomorrow we're going up one of the towers in the Sagrada Familia. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to make it. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Where has this come from? So one of the reasons we came up here was because I'd seen some amazing photos. I haven't even explained where we are, are we? We walked up from Ca um, Park Guell to the Carmel Bunkers. And oh my God, has this place caught on because the pictures I saw. The pictures I saw did not have many people in. Um, feels like about 300 people up there right now. And you just can't get like any decent photos, so we've given up on that one. It is still amazing up here, the views are amazing, we've still seen some like epic views. And he's happy over there on the bridge. <laughs> um, it's like half seven, we're both really hungry now, we don't know what we're having for dinner. But we're going to finish taking some photos, sorry I sound really like quiet, I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm a bit like, got the vlog nerves, I haven't vlogged for ages. Um, yeah, we're going to take some more photos and then start heading down back into town to get some dinner. I forgot about the vlog. <laughs> oh, your legs are in this. You mind? <laughs> I can't remember when I last vlogged. I think it was after we... I think it was when I was having my little meltdown over the bridge. And we were really hungry, and so we literally just walked home, home, back here. We had dinner on the way, we had pizza, and I didn't vlog any of it. And my feet are just really tired, and my eyes are just really tired. So, I will see you in the morning for a much more chilled day than today. Good morning, guys. I'm feeling a lot more refreshed than when I last spoke to the camera. It is Monday morning, and we've just set out for the day. We've had some pastries and I've got my absolute favourite freshly squeezed orange juice literally where I had to wait for them to squeeze the oranges in front of me. Oh my god it's so good. If you've watched my vlog for a long time you will know that I love a freshly squeezed orange juice and Ross even likes this one as well. Like he does not like orange juice at all. Like he's never liked it. All the time we've been together and he likes this one didn't you? Mm, sorry, yeah. <laughs> I've given him uh, control of the directions for a change, so I think it's all a bit much for him. <sighs> so, today we are just doing stuff on less of a time schedule, which is really nice because that was all getting to me a bit much yesterday, getting to places on time and getting buses and... Uh. <laughs> so today, the only thing we've got booked is to go up to Sagrada Familia. Other than that, we're just on foot, mooching about, seeing the sights, going to some markets, maybe eating some yummy food. And one thing that Ross really, really, really needs to remember today is that my legs are a lot shorter than his, oh, so yeah, I'm always working so much harder to keep up with him. <laughs> He's like strolling along, and I'm just there like. <laughs> I don't want your persona. I just wanna be real with you tonight. Can I have you alone now? So we've just been having a wander around looking at all the Gaudi buildings this morning. Um, I don't know how impressed I am. Like, yeah, obviously we would do it because we're here in Barcelona. Um, I feel like we're just taking these bits off. I'm looking forward to going to the um, Gothic Quarter though. Oh no, the camera's flashing. I knew I was supposed to charge it. That was nice. Anyway, this is where we are right now. You tell me that you're used to no feelings, but I'm gonna change it. Yeah, you'll be awakened. Cause when my love starts working on you, 
It'll take your breath away like never before. I let the. Uh, la, 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 I have forgot. <laughs> I forgot to charge the camera, so we've been out without filming for a little bit. We've basically just had a little wander around the Gothic Quarter, which I really enjoyed, actually. Did you like that bit of Barcelona? Yeah, I did. Just lots of buildings and things. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, we've just been mooching about. And uh, one thing that I did miss out on filming was McDonald's fries with cheese and bacon on top. Why is that not a thing at home? No idea. And they have different burgers and stuff there. Not that we make Why have you? Are you ready there with your camera? Are you? Mm -hmm. Did your camera switch on? Oh, when I put the battery in. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. Ross thinks I'm dressed really fancy. I kind of am, but I just like it. I'm just a bit extra anyway. And um, but I've kind of like paired it with like casual stuff. So this is my outfit. Um, this green dress, but obviously my trusty straw bag and my converse so i'm kind of dressing it down a bit and we are now off out we do need to get going because we can't be late for another bloody thing um we are off out to the sagrada familia now and can everyone just cross everything that i don't get a horrible fear of heights and i make up the tower bit miserable because the weather isn't quite what we'd have liked i booked six o'clock because i thought the light would be really nice at that time of day and it's just really great and cloudy so we will see i literally do not know what is wrong with me on this holiday i can't seem to get my like direction sorted or timing sorted oh hang on what's coming yeah normally i get everything like planned to a tea so i thought we were like 10 minutes away from the side of familia I don't know what is coming up in Google Maps when I'm searching it because that is not the Sagrada Familia. Um, the, it's like a half an hour walk, so Ross has just run back upstairs to get our metro tickets. We're gonna get the metro instead because that's like 15 minutes rather than like a half hour trek. <sighs> what am I doing? While I wait for Ross, though, how cute is the entrance to this place? Like the flooring, like the floors are pretty impressive the whole way up and this lift is so cool and I don't even know what these products are cold brew but just it's really cool doesn't it and you know me I love a good plant here he comes to save the day how fed up are you with me I'm <laughs> funny thing was as well I kept saying well no I said to Ross earlier it's like it's only 10 minutes away I'm surprised we haven't just walked by it by chance and he was like yeah that is strange I wasn't really listening when he said that because I think if I'd have properly listened I'd be like oh, we should have walked past it <laughs> he's now wishing that he questioned me and I'm wishing that he questioned me as well because that would explain that it's actually half an hour away it's supposed to be stress free today so we got on here I think you're still there we got on here yesterday and it was so busy that I was literally in someone's sweaty beer armpit. I know that's not a thing, but you can just sell beer on them. Is that what you thought? Yeah, it's not. Oh, is it weed? I don't know, I couldn't tell. I don't know. It was smelly and disgusting and sweaty. So I'm hoping it's not quite as sardiny as that today. It'll make you feel that good love working. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm a bit wobbly, but I'm doing it. 
so it's the view is amazing. It's actually two of my work things. I'm actually contributing as well. It's very nice. Guys, I made it. We're at the bottom. My feet are back on the ground. <laughs> When I try to reach you Ross Richards forever getting annoyed with people when he's trying to get photos and they're just getting in the way There is a lot of crowds of people People getting in the way, it's when they can see me taking a picture in the middle of the world They would understand that and it's like, are you fucking from here? People are just annoying aren't they? It'd be better if there's just no other people just people I liked. So I've convinced Ross to hang around and wait to watch the Sagrada Familia when it, at night when it's lit up. <laughs> Let me show you. I mean, that is not lit up, right? I mean, I know it looks a lot lighter on the camera than it is. It's actually a lot darker in real life, but actually there's no lights on this. I'm more interested in the uh, commotion going on over there. Yeah, we are enjoying our people watching though, because of well, first of all, we've just been laughing at everyone's poses in front of the building, like they're hilarious. People are like, acting casual, doing little like jumps, it's just so funny. I know I pose for photos, but I don't know, this is like next level. And now there's a police drama going on because some guy has been caught flying his drone in the area, and there's about six policemen. They've taken it's it off little, him. It's a little bit over the top, for yeah. It does, six policemen. it does seem a little bit over the top. The guy looks pretty chilled, to be fair. Oh God, some sort of dog fight. Well, what are they going to do? Yeah. They can't go there. It's not going to go to prison. Literally, if they've got nothing better to do, surely there's like... I don't know, six police officers. There's like proper crime going on. Um, so yeah, they've taken the drone off of him. And we've just got people watching sure. and dog watching. But I'm, all I'm saying is that you find him, go for it, get back to your job. I know, they're having like a complete meeting. They're like on phones, they don't know what to do. They're having a little mother's meeting. They are. Well, it's good if I googled it then. I just googled it and apparently due to light pollution decree or something um, they don't light it up every night so it's only lit from Thursday to Saturday evenings, 8 till midnight. So FYI if you come into Barcelona, I mean it's not a bit like, it's not something I was desperate to see. It's not like gonna be make or break for the, for the whole trip but we just thought well we're here. Although that does mean we didn't really hang around and eat. We, we struggled to find somewhere to eat, but it's fine. <laughs> and we're home. Well, Barcelona home. Oh, my feet. They're so sore. It just feels so good to, like, scratch them. Um, who, I don't know, if anyone had seen our holiday vlogs before where we're, like, exploring a city, I'm sure you would have seen me talk about squeezy feet before. Definitely when we were in San Francisco. Are you ready? Oh, my God. So, when you go on a holiday for, like sightseeing and you've got like days of walking it feels so good obviously if you're with someone to come back and squeeze each other's feet mm. it's like a foot rub but we call it squeezy feet oh my god it's so good so good and Ross is over there like ready for his saying yep where are you I love our little room I like the ceiling how cool that light is over there, Mr. Richards. Mm. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna film anymore. I don't know, we're gonna go and squeeze each other's feet. I know it's hard to break through the chains, but I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna Good morning. The sun is back in Barcelona today. It's gonna be like 20 degrees. So it's nice and warm. Oh we can go down here. And um we are just heading out to have a look around some of the markets today and we're going to go to the beach. We haven't been to the beach the whole time we've been here so we're going to go and have a look in that area of Barcelona today. We've just come into a supermarket to get something and um, Katie, you would love it. There's like no plastic in the fruit and veg. Such a cool supermarket. The other night I saw you glance your everlasting light Met your eyes razor sharp Cover through the crowd I don't know what you would call this, I just really wanted it. It's like meat and cheese and little bread 
You gonna try some? <laughs> We just got down to the beach, our first trip to the beach from Barcelona. Such a nice temperature, isn't it? Like it's, I think it's 21 degrees. So, a little bit of a breeze, it's nice and warm, not too hot. I wonder what it smells like. It smells like, um, it smells like donuts or something, or waff waffles. Mm. We're in a strange deal. enough that it's making me want to go in there a little bit. Mm. <laughs> Let's have a little mooch along the beach. A bit of people watching. It's like some sort of weird muscle beach thing going on behind us. A bit precarious holding this camera over the edge like this. Oh, we'll see. I would do it. I mean, I'd like to know what the purpose of it is. Like, what, where are they going? What? It's just a view, isn't it? I suppose so, yeah. Uh, standard Abby and Ross holiday. Ross has been uh, buying himself stuff. What have I bought? Nothing. Not my problem. <laughs> to be fair. I love a hat, though. To be fair, my suitcase is packed. There's nothing much I could do unless I wanted to wear it at home. Talk the talk, get me through the maze. It's our last evening in Barcelona. Are you a bit sad? A little bit, yeah. I feel like I should turn the camera on and say something and then ask you a question about it all the time. We've decided to go for pizza just because we've seen a place that pizza looks really good. So. How we can't say no to that, can you? I don't know if I've shown you the view out of our window. It's quite cool, isn't it? I just like that we've got a view and that this is so tall. I love watching. Dazzled eyes shining bright, a never ending space. I don't even want to know your name. I just wanna keep. Oh, that dinner was good. So we went out. I don't know if I've, I don't think I explained what we did. We went out for dinner, but then we kind of walked to where we were going for dinner, and then we we're like, mm, I'm not actually that hungry. So we decided to go for a walk instead. But we went for like a two-hour walk, <laughs> and, it's, and then ended up eating dinner at like ten o'clock, which is not normal for us. But how very European of us. Yeah, very normal here. Very normal here. We normally eat dinner at like six o'clock. <laughs> We do, don't we? Yeah, seven, seven-ish. But where we went was ideal because they literally sat us down, served, we were literally eating within like 10 minutes and that was the yummiest pizza ever. Oh, I'll make this quick because the light's doing that funny thing. We're going to bed. Oh, there we go, it stopped. We're gonna go to bed now and then tomorrow it's our last day here, or well, kind of morning and like half a day really before we head back to the airport. So I'll see you in the morning. Happy anniversary, George Bum. Surprise! <laughs> Good morning. It's the day we go home. That didn't make sense. That wasn't what I was going to say. <laughs> but <laughs> we, but we've still got like a good morning here so far. So far, oh my god, I can't even talk. We've still got a whole morning here before we go home. We're just packing up now. We're trying to decide. We've got a late check-in, but we're trying to decide whether to use it or not, or whether to just go out and explore. It's our wedding anniversary. Happy wedding anniversary. You're posing like it's a photo. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, room. To myself. Stay with me or leave me be. I want you all to be.
we're not really feeling this market. It just kind of feels like a supermarket, like I'm wandering around a bit of a smelly Tesco. So if you come to um, Barcelona, definitely go to the Mercat. Bucaria, the one off of Las Ramblas. Okay, I'll be honest, I feel like I should be able to tell you where it is that we are, but I don't really know. We're in the Elborn area and I think this building used to be a market and it's now like a exhibition of sorts. So we're gonna go and have a wander around. It's a really cool building though. Achoo! <laughs> Bless me! <laughs> of Barcelona and very historical. Ross loves his history, so I think he enjoyed that. And now we've got three hours before we get picked up for our transfer to the airport. And we've done everything on our list for Barcelona. I'm so pleased that we did everything and like in a really nice pace, didn't we? Like you could definitely come to Barcelona for like a long weekend, literally like two or three nights, two nights I suppose you could do everything in and you could probably do it all, but oh, it's been so nice to do it at this pace of like just four days just chilling so we've been here for four nights so kind of like five days ish and it's been a lovely little break definitely think freshly cut glass glass grass is one of the best smells ever it smells so good here right now oh my god england might smell like this when we get back it's sunny in england too well i'm just claiming that we're taking the sun back to england from barcelona today so it's gonna be nice when we land too well it's gonna be night time but it's gonna be nice tomorrow Time to go home. I thought I'd show you our apartment block from here. It's that one. I want to come back and say like a massive apartment. How cool would that be? Yeah. Just gonna go grab our bags and then meet our transfer to the airport. <laughs> with this guy. He's so sleepy. He's the best. And that noise he's making. I feel like he's looking at the camera. I think he was. I think he was like, what the fuck? What the hell are you doing? Anyway, we are home now. You just stopped and had the cheeky little Burger King on the way home. How very romantic for our anniversary. It was just what we wanted though. I'm very full up right now. Are you going to show everyone what you got? Yes. Yeah, sorry, I, I just realised what you meant. Yes, so obviously we got we've just done anniversary presents now that we got home. And we both I guess we've both gone on like a similar like print theme. Well, for my been stitched because mine isn't linen, I don't think. Well, definitely not linen. Yeah, Ross has been told that this is linen, but it's not. I think it's linen. So Ross has got me these Winnie the Pooh quotes. It's so cute. I love Winnie the Pooh art and Winnie the Pooh quotes. I'm so excited for the Christopher Robin film to come out. And then this is what I got Ross. And so this is a illustration that I had done by Amy Harwood. I'll leave her links below. She's amazing. And then I had it printed onto linen. And it looks so much like him. It's you. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway it's like what is the time quarter. oh it's quarter to 11 we've got to go to work tomorrow i can't think of anything worse to do tomorrow to be honest i could well yeah i could as well but you know just to be dramatic i really don't want to go to work we've had such a lovely break it felt, it felt quite long actually didn't it it felt longer than 
four nights and I'm just so glad to still have my camera. I can't believe I left my camera on the plane on the first day and I can't believe I fell on my bum. It's like you, oh. it's like you fell on a trampoline, it's like boing whoop. Yeah, I, I did bounce straight back up. I've had a bit of a mare, I've been very scatty this holiday, haven't I? Yeah, just a little bit. So I don't know what's wrong with me. But we had the best time, despite all my like fear of heights and stupid things going on. Accommodation was amazing, destination BCN, I'd recommend it to anyone. The apartment was lovely, especially if you like interiors and the location was good, wasn't it? Perfect place. And flights are super cheap too, £92 return for two of us from Gatwick. I don't know what else to tell you, there'll be blog posts up, so I'll leave my blog details below, leave my Instagram below, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.